extremely proud of the quality, balanced journalism that CBS4 News produces. But we are concerned about trouble and trying to be responsible. One sided news stories plaguing our country. Plaguing our country. The sharing of biased and false news has become all too common on social media. More alarming, some media outlets publish the same fake stories without checking facts first. The sharing of biased and false, false news has, has become, become all too common, common on, on social, social media. media. More alarming, some media this is extremely dangerous to our democracy. Censorious social media and the fragile snowflakes that work in these bubbles have finally put their foot down. They will no longer tolerate anyone who uses or tries to disseminate the N-word. And no, I'm not talking about racial slurs. I'm talking about this guy. This is the NPC or the non-playable character, and believe it or not, this simple meme has absolutely unnerved not only the usual suspects of rabid Marxist fanatics, but also those that seek social affirmation via groupthink and repetitious and scripted talking points, as well as adhering to a contrived rather than a derived worldview. Current year, Trump. Believe women, come on. I mean, really, refugees welcome. Misogyny, transphobia. Orange man bad. Trust us. The black nationalist Louis Farrakhan, who has been accused of making anti-Semitic remarks for years, posted a clip to Twitter of a speech he gave captioned, I'm not an anti-Semite, I'm an anti-termite. And this was just fine by Twitter. And the only time they have ever actually even addressed his account is earlier this year when he lost his verification status for tweeting about the satanic Jew and the synagogue of Satan. Newly minted editor at the New York Times and outspoken bigot Sarah Jiang has made countless dehumanizing and racist tweets, but only about white people and her account is just fine as well. Whereas people like Millennial Woes tweet verifiable facts about crime and his account is deleted. Needless to say, there is a problem at Twitter when it comes to consistency. This is why articles written by the toxic and notorious internet tattletale Jared Holt and an article written by the racist New York Times really didn't surprise me at all as it describes recent action taken by Twitter to bar 1,500 or so of what they call right-wing accounts for posing as soulless, non-playable, liberal activists. And remember that soulless part. The problem is that neither of the writers of these articles seem to understand the meme, but I think Twitter does, and that is why they are so desperate to stop this little line-drawn Wojak adaptation. An NPC means non-playable character or non-player character. It's a term borrowed from the world of video games for a character that is controlled by the computer rather than by a player. An NPC often advances a game's plot by saying scripted lines or assisting the playable character in some way. And now this meme is setting off the alarm bells at Twitter's Censor Central because it is so powerful as it articulates the fact that many, many of the people that we interact with on a daily basis appear to have been programmed on how to behave, act, speak, and most importantly, think in the exact same way. They just seem to fit in. They act like everyone else does, and everyone else tries to act like the people on TV. They talk like the people on the radio. They get their social beliefs from the funny joke men on TV. They have all of the mannerisms and opinions down pat. They echo the wonderful new and ever-changing dogma with ease, yet come across as though these are their own naturally reached conclusions. More to the point, they all seem to be running the same program, if you will, and are incapable of adjusting their worldview until they get a new patch or a new version inserted via Facebook, CNN, or their favorite groups of celebrities. The reason this meme is so effective is that it shines a glaring light on a key aspect of normal human functioning, 
pattern recognition. And it is this aspect of the human condition that your average NPC has essentially switched off. Noticing patterns and differences now comes with a whole host of negative labels ending in ist, ism, and phobia, and thus your average NPC has either through training, brainwashing, or simply by choice turned off this most essential aspect of the human condition, and in doing so has made self-reflection practically impossible. Their worldview is constructed by government, celebrities, peer groups, the media, and thus their ability to hold mutually contradictory views, such as wanting open borders as well as a generous welfare state, wanting equality for women in society, but a strong fetish to import Islam. All pattern recognition instincts are suppressed as they will create wrong think in your average NPC. How else can you explain the ability of masses of people to not notice patterns? They cannot and will not notice that certain types of violent crime, for example, are committed disproportionately by certain groups of people, or that other groups of people, for example, no matter where they go, always seem to be more successful than others. And in refusing to notice, they always find an excuse and are able to come to a conclusion that allows them to not identify the reality of the situation as it again would provide them with wrong think. And it is in this way masses of people are able to live in the ether of cognitive dissonance in their worldview that is created via dogma and not constructed through experience. This enrages the left as their entire persona is built around doublethink and nothing is able to reach these people and nothing one says or tries to explain will ever be able to change the programming. Statistics, logic, even lived experience will not change them from their programming and in many circumstances they will respond with mind-numbing chants whenever their worldview is put into question. Okay, Dustin29 here, Boston Antifa. I'd like everyone to repeat after me. NPC mean go away. We are human here to stay. NPC mean go away. We are human here to stay. NPC mean go away. We are human here to stay. Shame, 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 shame. The change must come from on high. Think even a few years back and the likes of Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama were both against gay marriage until they weren't. These are the kinds of people that will post on social media items that are clearly intended to signal their virtue and elicit buzzword scripted support as well as indignation for their targets from their chosen mob. This is why the MPC meme is befitting your average well-adjusted to the narrative person who has right think, because it is so true. This is also why Twitter is banning it, because it is so powerful, as it articulates the very real fact that many of the deluded people that we interact with on a daily basis seem to have a contrived worldview and have been programmed to have the same responses, the same ideas, the same beliefs, and act in the exact same way. And more to the point, as some have argued, that these individuals appear to have no souls, but are on autopilot, in fact, in the very same way NPCs are. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please consider subscribing. Also, find Black Pigeon on the usual social media. Till next time.